I always had Spurs as a team, I don't know about you, that was kind of probably the most resurgent one under Antonio Conte. That's mm -hmm. kind of changed a bit now. They've lost three on the bounce. Uh, Wolves have kind of come back into the picture as well in terms of the top four race. So start with you, Miles. How did you see Spurs' performance and, and can they turn it around and, and kind of continue some kind of form that they did have at the start of Conte's reign? Spurs are such an interesting team at this point. I don't really know how to define them because you're used to the picture, but they um, they just they don't really have the quality that they had for the last few years. Under the Pochettino reign, when they kind of were a staple of the top four and they were reaching the Champions League final and looking like they were really cementing themselves as one of the top clubs in the country... There was a lot that you could look at in that squad as top quality Premier League players. Whereas right now, it just looks like they lack that massively. Defensively, they were shocking. And you can't really be too surprised at that. They failed to adequately replace Vertonghen and Alderweireld. They brought in Christian Romero, who I do think is a good centre-back, but hasn't had time or the opportunity to settle, perhaps. Davidson Sanchez looks a mess. And they look like they missed Eric Dyer. And that's, wow. that's not really who Spurs should be relying on if they're pushing for the Champions League. So I just think they, they just lack a lot of quality. And as good as Conte is as a manager, he probably has two top quality players in Harry Kane and Son. Mm. And then short of that, should they be in the top four? I don't I don't think mm. that squad is a top four squad, to be honest. Midfield's no. weak and the defence is poor. And it showed against Wolves. You say uh, top quality players. I'm listing a few that I, I saw in the Wolves game that I just thought... Your time is finished at the club, basically. So mm. Hoiberg, I thought, was was awful. Just really mediocre. Misplaced passes. Loris looked shaky at times. Some of the terrible. some of the goalkeeping and defending mm. and the communication between the two was awful. At wing back, they've got problems. Sessegnon didn't look great, did he? Doherty mm. didn't look great. Mm. Emerson Royale is an absolute car crash of a player. I don't know how he's managed to uh, to get to where he is. So yeah, some mediocre players. And I think getting Benton Kerr into the team as quickly as possible and Kulisevsky, uh, albeit temporarily, is, is kind of mm. paramount really for Spurs, isn't it? But did you see anything from Wolves, Miles, that made you kind of think, do you know what, there's a chance for them there? Wolves are a really interesting side because they started the season quite slowly, it seemed, but they're just going about their business in a very pragmatic way. They're not glorious to watch. They don't thrill with a lot of goals, but they're so tight at the back and so organised. And Bruno Large has done a really good job of of taking on that mantle and really running with what Wolves had started to build under Nuno. Mm. They quietly have crept up into that conversation for the top four now. I think they're what? They, they, well, they overtook Tottenham with, the, yeah. with this win. And it was nice to see a few things, really. It was nice to see Jimenez's goal because I thought it was a really good instinctive striker's finish. Mm. And since he's come back from his injury, it's been hard to see too much of that from him. I think they've got a few players that will really impress in those areas, but they're just lacking depth in attacking positions. Obviously, they've let Traore go now. They've had long-term injuries with Pedro Neto. I do think if Wolves can invest well in the summer, then they're, they're in a really good, stable place. They've only conceded 17 goals this season. Wow. And when we talk about Leicester in a bit, who have conceded 14 from set pieces alone, mm. that, that shows you what Wolves' ambition is and how well-organised they, they are as a side. So I do think that they're probably putting themselves into a conversation of, a European place, potentially not the top four, because I think there are other sides with more quality, but they're doing a very good job this season. And they showed it again this in this game because they just they just looked a lot more organised than Tottenham did. And an Antonio Conte side isn't used to being outplayed like that, I don't think. No. Do you think, Dave, that maybe Conte's bitten off more than he can chew with this particular job? Because we've always said the whole of this season, no matter who's in charge, Spurs is a difficult team to turn around, isn't it? That's still the case, clearly, but... Is Conte the right man and what does he need to do to kind of get them performing again? I mean, he's said in as many words that, you know, this team isn't good enough. Um, and, it, you know, it's one of his biggest challenges really coming in and uh, you know, getting Tottenham back to where they were, obviously, in the past. And we've seen it, you know, obviously he didn't get couple of signings in. He obviously addressed the, the full-back areas. He obviously wanted a Dom Traore, um, apparently as a right-wing back. Uh, obviously, they didn't manage to, to get over the line. So, it seems as though he's addressed a lot of the areas that, you know, this what needs to be improved on. And, you know, as we've just mentioned, the, the, the defence is is a, a big concern. 
for me, and obviously you saw it in the in the game, uh, not just the defence, but Norris, we've seen the good and the bad, he made a few good saves, you know, it, Wolves could have been out of sight, really, um, majority of the chances, majority of the best chances came for them, Jimenez could have had another couple of goals, so it's, it's a worry for them, um, because obviously, as we've mentioned, they look to be the, the favourite, really, for that top four position, but mm. well, saying that, I think they've kind of deceived a little bit. Uh, Definitely. In their games, they've got through probably a couple of games a little bit lucky, luckily not not to kind of uh, drop points and, and manage to get through and get, and obviously grab the three points. Um, so wh- whether they were obviously a true favourite for that top four, it might just be a case of the best of a worst bunch at the minute, what we're looking at. I think Dave hit the nail on the head then. It's just Spurs have just... I think he's right. They've flattered to deceive. If you think back to the Leicester game when they sneaked that win with the two really late goals, that wasn't really a performance that that necessarily uh, had many admirers. Then they've lost three games in a row. They've got Man City next. And I don't think they had a particularly good transfer window. Traore didn't want to join them. He's taken a massive pay cut to go to Barcelona instead, who are a basket case. Now, all right, he's got connections to the club, but... That seems nuts to me. They're getting non-league players to turn them down because of personal terms can't be agreed. And then eventually they've panicked and gone to Juventus because they've got connections there in Paratici and, and Conte. And they've got two players that really... Juve, Juve probably didn't want to lose Bentancur, but probably had to because they've got so much going on in midfield right now because their transfer business has been appalling themselves. And bringing in Vlahovic, they needed to get rid of some players and needed to make mm-hmm. some moves quickly. So Kulazewski's not really done enough at Juventus to make me think he's going to be a world beater in the Premier League either. Mm-hmm. I don't think Tottenham are in as good a position as they, they should be at this stage. And they really looked in this game like they just didn't have any clue. And when Conte is coming out afterwards, you asked Dave, has Conte bitten off more than he can chew? He certainly thinks he has. He came mm-hmm. out again and said... These players don't have a winning spirit, I think he said. They yeah. need to be on the pitch trying to kill for you. And you ain't getting that from any of these Spurs players. Even Kane, who you say has done that for years, he doesn't really look like that right now, does he? I, I think Spurs are very in need of a refresh and move that Definitely. side. 